News Now California, out in the city of Palmdale. I'm out here today with San Joaquin, and we are at the Development Services Facility. This is a complex of the City Hall. Thanks, buddy. Appreciate it. Thanks, man. Good morning. Good Victoria's Secret hat. Oh, so you're advocating. Yes. Uh huh. I like you guys. I'm Thank into you. it. Thank you. Call. I'll email you. I have so yes. many things to say. We're here, we're here because we have the story of Diego Fernandez. And so we're going to go ask questions. I. Do you know? I know them before that happened. You knew him, huh? Elizabeth is a friend of mine. The aunt, Elizabeth, you know, Elizabeth, one of the aunt that's on the, that witnessing there, that, you know, the uh -huh. first interview. Uh -huh. Because I have a son also, a special child. You know, we know each other, like, b before this thing happens. You know? Wow. Yeah. Terrible how the state, everything left And I, and I don't understand. It. You know, this is, this is my take, okay? If the father is responsible for it, the social services, why did they? Why are they out? Right. Mm -hmm. We know, should retry that publicly, those right. people. Right. We should advocate with people. Right. You should put that online and we all gather and have a meeting. We should fail that social services. I agree. I agree. You know? They all walked. That, because they are the watchdog. Mm -hmm. You know, why did they get away? Mm -hmm. I am so frustrated about that. And what that. we do is we go out and watch them. Yes. That's what we do. We should, we should hold them accountable. All these people that, you know, that sympathizes with this family, and they should be, you know, we should, should gather and pin them, pin them down. Mm -hmm. We should yeah. sue them in behalf of this, you know, the public should sue yes. these workers. I don't understand, you know. They are paid for to do this. Taxpayers' money. Mm -hmm. It's sad, you know. That's right. Yeah. It's sad and it's wrong. Yeah. Gina. Gina, nice meeting you. Thank you. My, my channel, I'm also, uh, mm -hmm. I'm known as News Now California. You can email me too. Oh, okay. News right, Now right California. Here, right here. Yeah. Well, I'll that's him. Watchdog. Yeah. Something I, I, I think. If, if, you, if you see something recorded, yeah. start I'll a chat with yeah. yeah, I'll chat with you. Yeah. See. Get a camera, start recording. Yeah, I'll do it. Just a phone. Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah. Well, good luck with your service to you. Yeah. Hopefully okay. they help you. I'll good luck to you. Nice talking. Same thing. Wow, what are the odds of that? We came up here to do a story.
about the uh, Gabriel murder and we run into an individual who knew the aunt or actually knows the aunt of the little boy. I don't know, the odds of that were slim to none, but I'm glad she spoke. All right, Elizabeth, see ya. Thank you very much. Neighborhood services. Got uh, code enforcement is right here. Hello. How are you doing? How can I help you? I was just checking to see um, all the departments in the building. Uh huh. This is uh, code enforcement. Code enforcement and neighborhood compliance. Yes. Neighborhood compliance. Mm -hmm. Cool. Thank you. What was your name? Kayla. Kayla. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Oh no, here it is. Let's see. Yeah. So, since it was paid and you don't want to charge him anything, just make sure the violation's clear and then yeah, he's like, he's like, I'm putting rock in, so I'm just, I'm going to tell him that he emails. If he said he's putting rock in, it did not come to clients. Right, that's what I told so him. So tell him to email, what happens if you go out there or, uh, what else is doing? You guys are putting emails. We go out and record in public. Make sure all our, uh, government employees are, doing what they're supposed to be doing and we show transparency because if we don't come in here you know stuff can happen that nobody knows about <laughs> we uh that's an that's sounded like a laugh of agreement yeah yeah <laughs> i i mean i encourage everyone uh -huh. in the united states to record every police transaction every business transaction with their government officials so that there is no lying on either side so that there's transparency on both sides professionalism and everybody does the job that they get paid to do mm -hmm. and it just to me it's a wonderful thing that people are doing like from new york to so is this like a documentary you guys are doing or just like a we just post it on social media and stuff and people okay. love what we do it's called first amendment art they go out and they, some people screw it up and they do stupid stuff, but mm -hmm. for the most part, I think it's, we try to look past, um, try to see the educational value in it. You understand, you know, and like I said, I encourage everyone to pick up a camera and record their own transactions. May I ask where you'll post this? Um, this won't be on YouTube. On YouTube? Okay. Yeah. yeah, we're not part of any group. We're just oh. individuals. No organization. We just go out. <laughs> Hello. Okay. How are you? No, what do you do here? Attach it in off link. Office. Right. So, so if they call yeah, or can buy, I can look it up. Okay. Mind if I get your name? Thank you. No, mm that's -hmm. okay. Oops. Um, right. How are you doing today? I'm good. How are you guys? Not too bad. Good, man. What do you, what do, you do here? I'm a code enforcement officer. Code enforcement officer? Yes. Oh, nice. So you just go out and give tickets to people that are parked wrong or <laughs> handicapped no, zones? No, no, no. We, we make sure everybody's in compliance. Oh, uh, I see. Mind if I get your name? Sure. It's uh, Crumlish. C-R-U-M-L-I-S-H. Thank you. Thank you. He's professional. Yeah, the other lady didn't want to give her name. You mind if I get the other lady's name? Uh, the other office is that? Yeah. Uh, her name's out there. Thank Heather, you so thank much. you so much. And you're not supposed to get in trouble for that. That's your job to do to me. <laughs> that was her job. And actually, we could we could make a complaint on her, but you might you guys she might get some calls and she might get told to act professional to the public. Okay. Stuff like that. But I just want to say thank you so much. You're very well, professional. Well, thank you very for nice. your information too. You're welcome. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you for taking the time. No problem. You want you want to see the channel you're gonna find yourself on? Um. <laughs> there you go. You're very nice. Okay. Thank Have a you. Day. You're welcome. Thank you. I gotta tell you, the Taco Bell down the road, 
Really? <laughs> you went there too? Uh, yeah, they got bad reviews, but I was hungry and I should have listened to the reviews. Oh. All yeah. right. Take care. Always listen to the reviews. Yep. <laughs> what do you do here? Uh, I'm office assistant for code. I'm Brenda. 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 Thank you so much, Thanks. Brenda. Have a wonderful day. You too. Bye-bye. All right. Ladies, take care. You too. Bye. Ding. Oh, there she is. Excuse me, Heather. What was that, uh, Heather? <laughs> Who do you want to give her name? This is the Traffic Operations Center. So what do you do for the public? I don't feel like being comfortable on camera, sir. Ma'am, we're here for the public. I understand, but I don't have to speak on the camera. Well, we're asking you questions. Can here, you get somebody, you, uh, yeah, a sorry. supervisor, please, yeah. Heather? Can you get a supervisor for us, There's please? One coming right now. Thank you. Thank you. Is David over there? You see David? No. David um, my name's David, ma'am. Yeah, here's David right here. Oh, I'm, I'm looking for an employee. Thank oh, okay. You. Okay. We're waiting for a supervisor. Heather's not helping us. <laughs> Heather's, Heather's not helping us. She feels uncomfortable and doesn't want to talk, even though she works for the public. Heather has a bad attitude. Poor Heather. I think it's because Chucky's looking at her all day. You hit this once. I'll give it a countdown here. Is uh, huh? I don't. I don't really feel comfortable holding my finger up. Fingers getting heavy. Yeah, I don't. I don't feel comfortable doing this. <laughs> So Heather says that she doesn't have to speak with us on camera. She's rude. Look, look over here. Okay. Yeah. So this is uh This 
This is how they uh, treat you here at Neighborhood Services. Well, this isn't going well. Uh, we requested a supervisor. Uh -huh. Can you get a supervisor for us, for Heather? Uh, I believe... Let me go check. Who would that be? Somebody named David? David? Is not a supervisor. Okay. David is right... David Crumlin, he's, the he's the acting supervisor for code enforcement. Okay. Is that Heather's supervisor? No. Okay. Who would be Heather's supervisor? Could you assist us with um, that? It would be... It should be Stacy. Yeah. Andrews. Let Stacey me go. Andrews? Yes. Is she a blonde lady? Blonde? She's blonde, yes. Yeah. Interesting. Okay. Could you call her for us? Oh, sure. Yeah. Thank, you, blonde, thank you so much for the help. We'll be out here. So this will be interesting if this Stacy is the lady who came out. The, these two ladies in here that work at code enforcement are very professional. They're helping us, which uh, for some reason uh, went the opposite way with Heather. I want to tell everybody, if you're from the city of Palmdale, you need to come out to this city hall and record them. Your tax dollars pay for this. And uh, the scrutiny they're under right now, uh, they should not be handling this situation the way they're handling it with us. Were you guys the ones looking to schedule a meeting? No, or we're, to, we're, or to ask for a supervisor to talk to you, right? You yeah. did? Yeah. I did? No, no they did. Asking. Oh, we yeah. Were, we were okay. told that uh, Stacy is the supervisor of Heather, so we were waiting for Stacy. Okay, yeah. She's in a meeting right now. I'm going to give you her card. Okay. Um, and then you guys can call her, and she said you can actually schedule something uh -huh. with her. Then you guys can uh -huh. talk is to she, her. Uh, is she the blonde lady that came out to assist Heather? Or early, just about I, five minutes not, ago? Honestly, I'm not sure. Okay. I know okay. she's in the meeting. Okay, okay. Yeah. Uh, but like I said, I can give you, I can give you your card. Uh -huh. And that's probably the best way to to schedule a meeting. Uh -huh. And she'll sit down with you. Uh -huh. Cool. No problem. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah, we just wanted to kind of point out, uh, we were just asking basic questions, going around asking basic questions of what you guys do for the general public. Absolutely. Right. Especially being the city of Palmdale mm -hmm. right now, being in the public eye, in the court of public opinion, mm -hmm. I would say that it's very important for every public official to be on their best behavior Absolutely. and to show the public that they're earning those dollars that they're making from the public. And I would say that Heather, um, we're going to start with her today. And I believe that she needs to understand that if she wants to be working for in the private sector, mm -hmm. she's more than welcome to turn in whatever badge she may have been given and drop her tag and go home clock out right now, go home and go find a job in the private sector. And then um, she can not be recorded by the general public when they go in there. Okay. And that, that's something that you can obviously right. speak to Stacy about. When, when you meet with her, um, it's not trying to put you guys off right, right, at all no. for a meeting. It's just that's the right. easiest way to sit down, just because, as you guys probably know, going right. to different cities, uh, there's meetings, 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 right, everybody's right. got a meeting. So right. I'm just going to get you her card real quick. Yes, sir. I and it has her direct contact information on there, okay? Perfect. I just want to say, man, you've been, you've been uh, very cordial. Oh, I appreciate that. Let me that. ask you, so uh, you guys. So uh, I appreciate that David. Yes, sir. Uh, 
Stacy told you that. So we did. We did. My my, my guess is we did engage Stacy. Okay. Uh, because she said she was looking. You guys want one or two cards? I'm sorry. Two. 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 She said she was looking for David. So if she was looking for you, that was Stacy. And this all could have been avoided had she come up and engaged us for a two-minute conversation. Yeah, well, the thing is, is Stacy is, um, she's looking for me because I'm filling in for our supervisor for court enforcement this week. Um, but it's best that you talk to Stacy because she will schedule a meeting with you guys for her and for our director if, the, if that's what you want to do. But I, I can't just go pull her out of the No, I'm not suggesting for, for you that. do that. But what I'm saying is it was just, she could have just came up. It was her. Yeah, okay. It was her. Okay. So, and, the, and like I said, I wasn't here. I don't know who you guys right. talked to. And but. the thing is, Heather, Heather's department is code enforcement? Uh, she's part of neighborhood services. There's different divisions within neighborhood services. Okay, so a supervisor for code enforcement is actually a supervisor for Heather, is what you said. No. Okay, well. No. I don't know who. You're filling in for the code enforcement uh, supervisor for today. For right and now. And who is the code enforcement supervisor? Uh, Mario Vallarta. Okay. Okay. He's, he's our okay. Okay. community compliance coordinator, I believe. That's and the supervisor for neighborhood services is Stacy. I believe that's who supervises Heather, but don't. Okay. Like I said, that, I'm, right. that's not part of my. That's not part of my department. That's why I'm offering you guys Stacy's card because we'll that's going to give you guys a lot more information sure, than what sure. I can probably. Appreciate it. Can we get Heather's you. card? I don't know if Heather actually has a card. I can look. Um, but like I said, Stacy is. Gotcha. That's your that's your main contact for okay. Okay. for Heather as well. Okay. Stacy is actually, um, I believe, she's in charge of. Like some of the secretaries mm -hmm. up here, which would be part of it there. And is there a pamphlet of what neighborhood services provide? No, I was wrong. There's, there's a card for Heather. Mm. Did you guys want two of those? Sure, please. Thank you, David. Here, no problem. Uh, if you get a chance to talk to Heather, man, you can maybe uh, notion to her that we're, you know, harmless. We're just out here asking questions. Completely Very understand. Simple. And you did you did the right thing. You did a good job. As okay. You did a perfect that. job, David. Perfect. Appreciate yes. it, man. Right. You're going to look good. <laughs> a lot of people are going to give a shout out to you about okay. the way you handled yourself. If everybody else had your demeanor, it would be great. Yeah. I appreciate you guys. All right. All take right. care, All right. man. Have a good one. You too. very professional and we thank him for that but unless it's a uh, hundred percent around here one person's professionalism doesn't make it better for somebody who's rude All right, that's it here for development services. We're going to head over to City Hall. With that being said, we'll catch you on the next one. Bye now.